Hello, I'm Bruce. I'm shooting from Ottawa, Ontario. I'm shooting 33 meters right at the moment to do the final crawl of my 3D um, testing for crawling for Verbo. And uh, I've got my other crawls all done. Um, I just finished my 30 meter over there. So this is the last one in this uh, to do. Uh, I'm crawling using a Yoast tab here. So I expect to be in my Yoast tab somewhere up at the very top here for 33 meters. I'm shooting a Gilo GT 27 inch riser, a set of win and win NSG limbs, Yoast weight uh, for, for the arrow rest I'm using a Zephyr and for a plunger I'm using a Zephyr plunger as well. And this is a mountain muffler string and I'm pulling 41 pounds approximately on the fingers. And let's uh, start this off and see how we do it. 33 meters, max distance for, uh, I believe it's ASA 3, 3D, but also I think in Canada as well, 33 is the max distance. Okay, so I've marked it with this trusty little arrow here. And let's try my first arrow down there and see how I do. Oh, and my arrows are carbon one, Easton carbon ones, and they're 40, 450 grain. Uh, yeah, no, 450 spine with a 120 grain point. Low, left, uh, probably in the one or two ring of a 40 meter centimeter target. I'm shooting a 40 centimeter target at 33 meters. I might have to break off some more branches to be comfortable, but we'll, we'll try a few more arrows and see what happens. Just wasn't ready to let that one go. Let's try it again. All right, I think that one went a little high. Yeah, so I'm in at seven, six, Five on the five four five liner, just left the center. So, let's see where the next arrow goes. That probably tell us if this is a good shooting spot, a good good crawl. Yeah, same spot. So my crawl is too high. So I'm going to come down half, half or it would be one eighth of a mark on the Yoast tab. See where that puts us. And that one is right above center, so that was a good shot. So eighth between two marks. See where that went. I can't see too many shadows down there now. So that is seven, just right low, low and to the right in the seven ring.
I7, just right of center. So in the red. Not bad for my first fan, I'm pretty happy. I'm very close to being where I need to be. High, too high, not even gonna bother looking. But in the center, that's where it needs to be, but uh, too high. four or th four or five sorry just right of center so that's high so let's go take a look at what we did my reading of this is that my crawl is still a bit too high so maybe go down another eight should put me down in here somewhere so let's give that a try Try this again. I think that one went low, but I don't really count that one because, yeah, that's in the seven ring, red just to the right. Messing with trees. Oh, discount that error, that gun. So we're shooting 33 meters here. I think that's a good shot. Right in the center center line that is. I'm not sure if it's actually in the center. Mm, could be a 9-10 liner. It's pretty close and it's right on the center line which is awesome. So pretty happy with that. The other thing I'm really happy is I haven't had to play with my center shot at all since we're initially adjusting it over just a little bit to the right. That one I let my bow slide down a little bit on the target. I try to put my tip right in the gold. I used to put it at the bottom but now I try to put it right in the gold. <laughs> Those are low, both of those. Yeah. Got like a six five liner and a six and a seven. Seven six liner. Both bottom on either side, so left and right of the target uh, of the ten ring. <laughs>
hear the tent in the back of me rippling it. It always freaks me out. I find my arrow floating around a little bit too much around the target. I'm not sure where that one landed. But it causes some variability of where my tar my arrows are landing on that target. So I think that it's probably an eight just right. Could be an eight nine liner, but I'm pretty sure it's an eight. Just right of the gold. Bad shot, just completely a bad shot. I let go. I fudge. I do that at least once a day in practice. Just one arrow just goes flying off into nowhere. Well, at least it's on the target, but yeah. I guess at 33 meters overall, this is pretty good. But I really would like to have tight, a tighter, tighter, tighter groupings. I'm not really. This is the one that I just let go with the very last arrow. And I just, well, it was a terrible shot. These two down here were my first two. Uh, I think this is one of my la last arrows. So this is actually is an eight, nine liner. So it's actually a nine, eight. So not too bad for 33 meters. These are my first, well, it's my second time outdoors this season. I did all the shorter crawls already. I've got them already notated. 33 meters would be the max distance for a 3D target for a bare bow archer. Low and to the left. Possibly five, four. Again, to the left, maybe even farther to the left. So I might be plucking there. A breeze coming over my shoulder this way. Just knock my arrow off my rest. These uh, Zephyr rests can be very temperamental. Again to the left, same area, 3-4 ring maybe, left, lower left that is. Something that must be plucking. Probably my sight picture was off. Maybe not a pluck, possibly sight picture. Sometimes you just want to take it all back and start over again. I 
again to the left, very far left this time. I'm not even sure it's on, on the target. right of the target so I'm either right or left but I'm not on target <sighs> much better let's see did I actually get it on Yep, nine. Nine low. Nine low. That's good. To the to the left. Nine low to the left. As you can see, all over the place this way. This was my very last arrow. So uh, I'm not sure what I was doing wrong, but I wasn't doing anything right. Three meters on a 40 centimeter target. That could be in the nine ring, and it is nine. Low, slightly to the left, which could have been the breeze that's blowing right here over my shoulder, coming from that direction. That's right down the center line, but I I think it's probably in the eight ring, red eight. on the center line somewhere. Yeah, actually it looks just left of center in the uh, seven ring. off like almost off the target I'm not sure what happened there it's just one of those bare bow things just loss of focus loss of focus just left yeah that's in the uh, eight, seven. that's in the six ring left right at the right height right horizontal height vertical height or whatever it is
a bad shot. Come on, Bruce. Think it, think it, think it. my eye on this road over here. more angle. 33 meters. The breeze has shifted from over there and now it's moving directly at me in this direction. Coming straight off the rugby field. Okay, that's in the eight ring, just to the right. in the four left, lower left. Maybe the wind caught that one. shaky on that one. Yeah, that's uh, a little high in the uh, four ring.
sure which arrow that one is. Two more arrows to go. Again, I don't know which one it is, so last arrow. We'll have to see when we get down there. They're all going a little bit left, and I'm pretty sure that's the breeze coming off the field here. Because it's going straight this way into the trees. And I'm sure it's going like this and then swirling up. Seven, six, seven liner high, right over center point. Yeah. I don't know if my excuse is my shooting or, well, the spread is definitely me, but the uh, wind factor could play a bit into the fact that they're all slightly to the left. But uh, too many of these are in the black and so they were too many. That all bad arrows right here. That's three. So, I mean, my rule is keep it in the red, but when you get to 33 meters outdoors, that gets a little harder on a 40 centimeter target. All right. It's, this is Bruce from Ottawa, and uh, have a nice day to you. I'm done for the day. <laughs>